here at Living SA TV. Today we are in Hillbrow. The bustling Hillbrow. Yes, the Hillbrow that you guys don't know nothing about. Today I'm gonna blow your minds. Whoa. How's it guys? How's it? How's it? How's it? So today we are here in at Hillbrow. I'm also actually with Imani from Perfect Africa. Our first video together. We're gonna start speaking about Hillbrow. What you need to know because this place is amazing. There is a lot of work going on. So Imani, what's up man? Tell yeah, us. Yeah man, man. I'm so I'm feeling so positive about this place. The way I used to perceive Hillbrow, it's no longer the way I think about it. <laughs> it's so amazing. So we can't wait to show you guys the more about Hillbrow here. And one thing is, you know, with living in SATV, when you see my videos, your your life always change. <laughs> this is one of my of my testimonies. <laughs> amazing things coming your way, you guys. <laughs> So guys, we are at Hillbro at the moment, in the center. So guys, we are now at the Outreach Foundation. One, one building that was um, basically recovered by the CID. We are inside of the Ikai CID. You guys can see there the Hillbrow Theater. Just a very vibrant, you know, bustling place in terms of... Uh, it's just really amazing. I can't even believe where I am at the moment. I'm going to do a proper walkthrough, guys. We're actually just waiting for our security team. Yeah. No, 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 come, 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 don't stop. Right. Okay, guys, we're literally walking now in Hillbro. We are our, with our security guy from Bad Boys, Bad are Boys, we, Bad we, Boys. Are we, are we? What you gonna do when we come for you? Yeah. Which makes totally sense. So, th is this a nine the hijack building? Yeah, this is the hijack building. So, this one is hijack metropolitan, yes, it's called metropolitan. So, for how long has been hijacked? Because I can see that it's some business around here and stuff like that. Uh, so many years actually. So many. I think plus minus 10 years. 10 years. That's huge, eh? Wow. Got him money there, also making his own video. How's it, man? Say, introduce yourself. How's it? I'm Carl. And so, and I live in one of these buildings behind you. Chill, man. This guy is crazy. Actually, he actually moved himself to Hillbrow. It's crazy, eh? But. Uh, you know, you need to give him the the respect. Well done, man. Well done. I think the people are really nice and yeah. Do, do you think it's like stigmatized or what? Definitely, yeah. Um, I think there's some streets where you walk, you just avoid. Um, yeah. But even when I moved here, like guys would pull me aside and just be like, stay away from that building, stay away from that building and you'll be fine. Really? Yeah. yeah. So the community itself told you where to Definitely. go? Everyone's like super worried. Just careful, careful. Thanks so much, brother. Oh, so you see, for example, there is a Nijek building here and there is a new building here yeah, that was revamped. Here, yes. And you can see, guys, there is also a lot of businesses around here. Yes. So... This is a thing that is happening every day. Yeah. This is a Nijek building, but there's also business that they are running every day. Wow. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a community that self-sustains itself. Yes. 
And I gotta be honest, I, I can't believe that I'm actually walking in Hillbrow, but I am at the moment, which is mind-blowing in my opinion. And like I say, there are places where you can walk and there are places where you can't walk. And that's where you need to go and work with the community here in order to understand where you can go. So this is like a, a nice, but this is another event building. This is a, a I, Wolfman New York. This is a nice building. Uh -huh. It's clean, it's beautiful inside. It's from my timbre. Okay. No, but you, you can see that things are revamped, you know, it, it, even a coat of paint. This street here, it's called Park Street. Yeah. In Lebanon. So we're gonna walk down to a place called Vanin Court, where okay. there's uh, a rock bars and everything is happening in Hebrew. Wow. So we're just gonna walk down. Then I'll show you around uh, Wow. Like, okay, there was place, but... This one is one of our CCTV cameras. Okay. From the office. So we have like 16 cameras in the street. 16 cameras alone? In Hebrew. Wow, that's this huge. Street, alone, this street, we only have one. And we have down there also. So it's two cameras along the park. So, and, and what is like the... Of course, there is still crime, but how much... How big is that crime wave? You know, like how much is the cri criminality rate? Now, uh, I'm gonna say that it's less. Mm -hmm. It's less because of as we did those, we, me and my team, mm. we caught Hebrew street patrollers. Yeah. So we, we patrol every day in Hebrew. Yeah. Like with my van, like I'm everywhere. Like, yeah. So my ship is goes 10 to 10. So like, yeah. after 10, yes, they oh. can take chances, but. Yeah. So they don't have security at 10. No, we don't have security in the street after 10. So it's not like 24 hour security? We, we do have 24 hour security on the on the buildings. On the buildings, okay. Street, yes. Wow. You can see the streets are not that bad, you know. I thought actually that I was going to find worse. But. Uh, that's a Nijack building, this one. And tell me one thing, what is the possibility of us to, to go to one of those buildings? The thing is there's no electricity in the front page. So Imani, what do you think? Are you enjoying this? Huh? I am, I am. I feel safe with my guy here. <laughs> tell us, tell us how you're feeling safe. I'm feeling safe right now. Because there is a lot of work going on, eh? So that's that's the IJEC building, that one. Yeah, yeah. You can see how the, the, the windows and stuff, yeah. The windows, that, uh, Yo, this is crazy. And 75 sunny crest. Yo, this is a little bit of informal business. People just drive. That's another hijack building. So that many. Building that I was talking about. Uh -huh. Oh. So. Yeah. So how many hijack buildings do we have now in Hillbrow? Uh, I think plus minus maybe ten. Ten. Okay. That's not bad. Compared to about two years ago, what is the difference? Yes, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, that's because we try to get a lot of business back to the owner. Yeah. And this can only be 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 done with uh, with uh, the development uh, companies, this is the property the development. Building court, the yeah. This is the building that they used to rob people. This was when people pass here. Yeah. We used to rob them, but yes. as us bad boys, we got our CCTV camera here, yeah. oh, yeah. and they have got a guy that patrols here full time, ten to ten. So maybe they they used to do this robot after ten at night. Yeah, but oh. during the day, us bad boys. So like you say, you guys give security most of the day, and then during the night, the buildings need to give themselves yes. their own security yes. and the cameras and all that. Okay. And for example, how you do you guys spot faces? Uh, how do you guys uh, trace the, the criminals? Do you guys go after them? How does that work? Uh, 
we know them actually some of them we know them that there's like a few guys that we know them that they, they are working in the streets yeah also as us we can see the things or you can even suspect if he is a criminal or not mm. but yeah let me let me look if you can find one of these. So you are saying this is a dangerous one. Even this guy, the guy that's wearing a black and uh, red yeah. 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 They arrest him for robbery. This one, yeah. This really? This, yeah, this boy, here. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And most of the people that are living in Hellbrow are actually uh, foreigners? Uh, it's, it's mixed. It's mixed. It's mixed. Foreigners, locals. You know, Hebrew is for Africans. Yeah. You cannot divide it. This is a, a Zimbabwean, this is a Lesotho, this is a Nigerian, this is a Malawian. But mm. Hebrew is all for Africa. Wow. That's how we, 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 we actually call it in mm. Hebrew. So in Hebrew, we work as a team. We work with the community. We get information to the community to tell us if there are problems in the street or they are rotting in the street. Communication in Hebrew is the key. Wow. And what, I can see there is a nice colorful building there. Can we go there or you want to go down? I think we should go down. Is that should we go down? We can go down and go. Okay, so we go down and then we turn around to go there. Okay, yeah. perfect. Let's do that, guys. I'll, I'll talk to this boy. That's him. Can I interview him? No, it's going to can you tell these guys how many times they arrested for robbing people? Seven times. Seven, Seven times. times. Yeah. So, <laughs> yo, so what what you do with the with the stuff when you rob? Do you do you resell them or what you do? I sell them if I get money. I drink it all. <laughs> Wow, okay. Same time. Buy my clothes, yeah? Okay, thank sure. you. Well, thank you. I am like so like surprised, you know. I never expected to do something like this. Yeah. Sense of, you know, being near the streets. I mean like <laughs> That's our guy. That's our guy. Wow. That's our guy there. So we just met this guy. Like, you know, used to work with him, but he doesn't do so what you think anymore. of yeah. what you are seeing? Yo, it's crazy. It's a lot of, a lot of different organizational structures trying to be in one place. <laughs> Yo, but you see what I mean? There are, of course, this is an eject building. You yeah. can see that there is a alley full of garbage and stuff. It's amazing Yo. to like, how people can do that. I mean, they could easily organize it themselves as well. Yeah, but again, you know, these places perhaps don't even have water or, yeah. or lights. They can't yeah, really do anything. Right now. This one is still a like jet. Yeah, this is like a high check building, which is a one in the car. So, still happening. You can see the JMPD is also going around. Do you guys work closely to them or what? How's it, guys? They are our backup. Look, there is there is still crime. The crime factor is still there, but we're not going to say that we didn't see anything. We did see. Ev you guys can see there is actually <laughs> something going on. You know, uh, this place is quite like vibrant. You know, just this little stuff like garbage that needs to be moved around and all that. But is it a mosque? No, it's a it's a church. A church. Where is the church? German church. Yes, I have. So, brother, tell us, tell us what's going on here. These guys, they are doing a recycling. For okay. They are living, so they are taking this thing to go and get something to eat. To eat, okay. Yes. So they're basically recycling in order to get something to go and eat, something. and it's also a good way also to clean up the streets. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, guys, we we are doing this with proper with proper security, so he, he knows well the area. Yes. He knows, and and again, introduce yourself because I think people that are uh, still watching the video just introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Freddy. Um, I'm working for a Bitcoin security company in Libra. Perfect. Me. Thank you very much, Freddy. Appreciate it, man. 
Because that, uh, that's, that's, is there a synagogue, perhaps? Because I can see the, the Hebrew star there. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a church. The name of the church is it's called uh, Masocha Church. Amasocha. Amasocha, yeah? Yeah, Amasocha Church. So it's a, like a revolution church. There's like two different names, revolution church. They call each other Amasocha. So the, the pastor of this church, his name is Kakebe. He's like, he's a, I think he's a cross or something. Yeah. He's, a, he's a good pastor, he's a good man. He's always preaching here. Good influence for the community. Yes, for the perfect, for the community. perfect, perfect. Perfect. That's nice to see. We may see also a nice supermarket. There is a lot of vibrant business going around, guys. You guys can see the bottom. Let me just enlarge it so you guys can see it before we can go. This is one of the look at this. Ah, another. So we're still inside of the Kaya precinct, basically. This is one of the. This place is the place for uh, homeless people, people that they, they don't have a, a place to stay. This is called shelter. So you can go inside and pay a little amount to sleep in the. In the Okay, so if I don't have anything, I just can come here and they get shelter to sleep and all yes. for nothing, basically. For an, maybe I don't know. I think. Or for a small amount of money. Small money. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, we're continuing our running. You see, there's a lot of DSTV. We got a printer copy and shop solution. We got the Was a Seedle kitchen. We got another uh, appliance type of business here. You know what I mean? See people also selling fruits in the street and all that. This is my friend. His How's it, man? Musa. How's it, Musa? How are you, this man? This business. He, so tell us about it. He, he in this business. Tell us how you survive so selling fruit here in Hillborough. I don't survive every day. And then how much, for example, can I buy some bananas and all that? How much are you selling it? You can see this is high quality fruit there, right there. Fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Anyway, Musa, thank you very much, man. Appreciate thank it. You, thank, you. thank you very much for your testimony. Guys, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's just... No, come, come. Don't worry. Thanks, guys. That was it. Hey, money, in front of me, bro. The police there. The police is there, JMPD, there. That's a beautiful structure right there, right? Eh? What do you think? It's amazing, yeah. Random buildings that just so designed. Yeah. Now I really would love to see all this area properly, you know. This is such a cool opportunity for me though. Going I wouldn't get able to like walk around and just take pictures. Yeah. David. Yeah. Going down there you're going where? You, you want to go down there? No, no, no. I'm like, wh where do you go if you're going? You're still in here, brother? I have no idea, brother. I, I am as <laughs> lost as you. I've been here a few times, you know? Okay. Careful, careful, guys. I want you guys in one piece. Why, why so much water in the streets? Is it like pipes that burst, or what's the story? Yeah, uh, this is a a, a jobic water. They yeah. Need to be fixed. Okay. So, which is jobic water? They must come here and fix this this, this, this water. But how long? Because we we're losing a lot of resources. Why why can't we? It's been a month since. So, Plus minus six or seven months this water is already. Really? Yeah. Man, come on. Seriously? Look at all this water being like literally yeah. lost, you know? How many people you can you can actually give this water? Many you know, people. to cook, to drink and sure. stuff like that, you know? Yes, we're losing it so many people. And we're having a water shortage in South Africa, you know? I can see there is a Raya Vaya uh, bus station here. So how it works, explain it to us. Uh, it's like when you want to go to the Avaya, yeah. you have to go in there yeah. and buy a small ticket. Okay. That small ticket is going to put, it, it depends where are you going. Mm. Maybe it started from 20 rand, 30 rand, 40 rand, 50 rand. Mm -hmm. So you buy a ticket and then you just move in and then you wait for the Avaya there. Yeah. When the Avaya comes, you stop the door, that two doors open. Yeah. So it's a safe place from the platform to the bus itself. Yes. 
Okay. So, so you, we actually have a functional transportation system in Hillbrow. Wow. So much potential in this area. Seriously. Tell us one thing. For example, you showed us that people are recycling down there the the, the, the you know the plastic, the bottles, and all that. But for example, I can see there is garbage here. Why is that garbage not being taken? What is being done about it? Uh, you, you, you must remember one thing. Yesterday it was holiday. Yeah. And today we expecting that the cleaners yeah. they will come and clean. Mm -hmm. They are on the way. They are thinking another places. Yeah. But this one. This side they actually come and clean. And also Bafigile from Ikaya, she have her own cleaners that they are cleaning hippo streets every day. Mm. So they will come beside the and clean to make sure that that mess is mm -hmm. clean. Disappears, okay. Yeah. So basically what happens is when there is holidays and stuff like that, people have uh, uh, just throw things on the street. It's just a thing. Okay, I see, I understand. But yeah, I need to see, we, we need to put like stuff like, uh, you know, uh, rubbish bins and stuff like that. So a lot of work going on. But to be honest, guys, after being here, I know I can see that some work has been done. You guys, I know you guys are going to say, no, 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 David, nothing is done. Sorry, guys, I can see it. I saw the IJAC buildings, I saw the new buildings. And remember, this is an ongoing job. It's something that doesn't happen from day to night. And we need to understand that lot a lot of buildings you guys can see this building inside for example typical security measures nothing special people feel very like funny because there is a, an european guy going around you guys can see the riot via bus here also people just you know very active area you see how a coat of paint can actually change things we give some shout outs to the to the companies making the difference. I think we are still inside of the Ikai uh, precinct. Again, this is my first video about Ilbrau, so I'm still learning. Beautiful church right there. We have so much potential in the inner cities. It's just, you know, using all this infrastructure uh, in order to, you know, make it a better place. So much history in these streets, eh? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Just interesting to catch all these details. So I know you guys like to see these buildings, the old buildings. Because per perhaps the majority of you that watch actually my content are probably from the old days. And I understand you guys like to see all this. I also want to give you guys also a better perspective over Hillbrow. Yes, I know there is garbage there, I know, but things are happening. People are taking care of Hillbrow, so it's not that bad. It was worse, let's put it this way. Or the Catholic Archdiocese, Dice, Dice, sorry, English is not my first, thing, <laughs> my first language, so. There you go making a proper 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 this is irritating to see the pipes and the water going around like this not cool yo freddy you are a good tourist guide eh? thank you he knows everyone so shall we go or what guys So we go through here or through there? Mm. Why is that bridge there? Is that... Why is that bridge exactly for? Yeah, they, they, they try to do that bridge for the students. Because of that, uh, Campus Africa is a race that the students that are staying. Oh, okay. So this is the park. So they make that bridge, maybe the students, they want to go and... Uh, oops. Okay. So it's basically student, student living or students. So that's Windy Bro? Yeah, this is the one I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Nope. But I got one of my Congolese friends also there. You're going to meet a Congolese friend also. The guy from uh, Help Me, Honest Travel. 
don't know if he's around. But I would love to go inside of Indy. It's just me or that, that building that is hijacked also. You know that, 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 that long building? Yeah. It's called Ikerites. Okay. It's a hijacked building. There's also a, a move that they were they were shooting the move there. The name of the move called Jerusalem. The name of the Jerusalem. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is the building. Really? Wow, really? There was plenty of uh, movies that were done in Joburg, you know. <laughs> People, all, all the huge studios that come from overseas. Yo, look at that. Yo, this is the best picture I've seen from Ponte in a... Yo, look at that shot. It's just, just... Look at the photo, if you take the photo from here. Look at that. Wow. That's beautiful. You guys can see also this building. Got a new coat of paint, some lights, and another camera there. So, in the Brow Art Center. You know that Windy Brow Art Center actually makes part of the... Um, forgetting the... Um, sorry guys, I'm so excited that I can even uh, basically put myself together. But if you guys have seen the, the Dead Precinct, uh, the Newtown Precinct, they, they are just... Uh, it's the same group of uh, cultural events. We have been walking now for half an hour. See the 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 security is quite good here. Hi sir, how are you? Very good, thank you. Hey, you left Frank left a long time ago. Really? Like what? A few months or years? Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, can I please? Because I'm doing a full video on Hillbrow. Look at this beautiful two buildings there, eh? Okay, guys, we're going now inside of Windy Brow to show you guys. Thank you very much for letting us in. And they got a QR code for identification. Look at this beautiful Victorian building. See if I can show you guys inside. Look at this so well-maintained place, eh? Wow. See, guys, there is more world to Hillbrow than just criminality and uh, stereotypes. So guys, we are inside of now Windy Brow, which is probably one of the most beautiful historical buildings in Hillbrow, a cultural art center. Well, look at this place. We're literally inside of, of Windy Brow at the moment, guys. Very nice office. Peaceful, actually. Wait. Then what is this? Well, they're still renovating, but that's a good thing. That's a flippin' good thing. Yo, look! Look at the details on the woods. Look at the details on the on the lamps. Look at the windows itself, eh? They're actually renovating it. Wow! Look at this amazing place, eh? Wow! I didn't know that there was something going on here. Look at the tails of, of the wood. This is really amazing. Yo, look at this wood. Amazing. I love to see these things. Especially when I see these places renovated. It's renovated, eh?
You guys can see there's a lot of students inside to see the place. A lot of history behind in between these walls. Look at the ceiling. Very nice. I just literally walked in, that's what I did. I didn't even know about this. <laughs> Cooking Graham Auditorium. Seems like it's a church here. So I'm just gonna be very quick. Quite a... Can't really see anything. There's a guided visit going on, but I will try to give, tell you guys a lot of information in this video in terms of history and all that. Guys, just guys, just look at this very closely. Just going to do very zoom to see if you guys can see what I see. Yo, look at that. I know it's bad what I'm showing, but it's just it's just like to see these type of details, eh? I'd love to see what they're gonna do. Well, they said we have like what? Ten. Yeah, building at the back there. Yeah, we're going there next. They were like, nah. We're still inside of Windy Bro. This is behind Windy Bro. This is the J Jerusalem of movie building, which is important to add. Yeah, the call. Uh, yeah, things are being done, you know, little by little. Everyone, how are you? Hi. Hello. So, why are you guys here today? We are here to do something to you know each other. So, you guys enjoyed the place? Yes. Very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. And don't forget to follow Living NSA TV on YouTube, okay? So, okay. So, Freddy, tell us about what you do exactly what is thank you very much what is your daily work what do you need to do in terms of patrolling and all that um it's a, i'm doing a different things every day yeah i'm a, I'm a court people street patroller yeah i patrol like uh 57 buildings 57 yes that is our buildings in Zebra. that is the the buildings that we we the 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 part of ikaya and a big boys a uh, camper yeah which is i have to patrol and to make sure that yeah. the buildings are safe yeah the tenants are safe yeah people around that building they are safe mm. so i'm doing this every day my shift is 10 to 10. i'm doing this every day i'm driving like a car every day how many kilometers you do per day to live mm. in a year maybe 10. 10. Yeah. wow that's a lot and do you actually go inside of the buildings or you just patrol around i how do we... sometimes to go inside okay i have to go inside and approach the um, look for the building manager yeah and ask him uh are you all right are you fine do you need my assistant yeah what do you need from me yeah to assist you yeah and then he's gonna say to me if you want me to to assist him he will tell me what what the thing that you want me to assist him i can mm. assist him with anything okay perfect what we're gonna do guys is if you guys want me to go with Freddy inside of the buildings and all that just to see how it is a, a day of patrolling in Elbra make sure you guys put down in the comments so we can do something like that because we're gonna start covering Hillbrow properly Freddy is a respected guy here he's like the husband how are you careful 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 Sure, you can see that a uh, holiday this to the streets, but why people don't just get the stuff and put it inside of bags, you know? Keep the, at least the streets clean, you know? Yeah. Don't pause, don't go. Just be careful here on the streets, you never know. Sure, you can see that it's like cars here, you know, like not like Mercedes and stuff, you know. Mm 
<laughs> how's, the, how's the boy? How are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, what's your name? Bali. Ah, nice to meet you, man. Good, good. <laughs> that kid, it's such, such a nice energy, eh? So this is the behind of the synagogue, I think. The one that we saw. Church is beautiful, eh? You can see a little... Also some people open the businesses here, because it makes sense, right? This is a congregation of people. Oh, don't be far away. I love to see the painting on this building, eh? Just love the colors and the patterns. Flats to let. This is our office building. Office building, yeah. Okay. Yo, look. That's another hijack building, or are they recovering that one? No, that one's an old building. We need to. Uh, uh -huh. How's those guys? Ooh! So we're now at your office. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Okay, let's do that. Okay, guys, we're going now to the bed, boys. Okay, guys, so this was the office from Bad Boys. Bad Boys are basically the security company who makes the uh, security here in at Hillbrow. We're going also still with Freddy for a for a drive to see what's going on, how they patrol and all that. So it will be a crazy thing. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. What are you, what are you were saying? Um, no, I was just saying, like, during the day, there's not, nothing to be afraid of because there's yeah. cops everywhere, there's people and hawkers and stuff, so yeah. it's only really at night that it's... It's, it's like more to... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Imani, what's your opinion, man? About? About, about all this, bro. <laughs> Tell us. So you came here with an idea. What's your idea well, now? When I came here, I was really... I was nervous. Yeah, me I too. I didn't know, like, you know... You could walk in Hillbrow like this, but here I am with the camera in my hand, feeling free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so, I'm so amazed. I'm, I'm amazed what these guys are doing. These security guys. Yeah, yeah. me too. Eh? I they're also didn't great. know all this. They're doing great. Yes, there's still a couple of things to do here and there. Yeah, but okay. it's happening. You know. You know what I mean. Okay. Building is a big thing. Can't remember now the information, but you guys will see the pop-up pop -up message. Stunning, eh? Stunning. Yo, look! Look at the design of the. Look at those things. Wow. Century Plus. So what's the story? Why why people why people how how do you make it people not to move in inside of this building here? I'm not sure about this building. No, I don't want to hide. Okay. I, I really want to find that if there is something for this building because this this probably was like an hotel or something like that but I will try to find out more information put it on the video you guys can have an idea how big Hillbrow is I think that's a marble tower not sure okay perfect so it's called Bed and Breakfast, that hotel that you were asking about. Okay. There you go. A nice looking after building. So how affordable is it actually to live here? Um, very, yeah. It's, uh, everything's kind of 
um, sold on the street as well and stuff. Weirdly, there's not a lot of like spas and stuff. Yeah. But even fruit and all that, you know, I yes. I know in Pretoria Street, for example, they sell fruit really cheap compared to other places, you know. Yeah. That park area. Have you been to that park? Just down there. Uh, no, not yet. They've got a whole market lined up there. That's the cool lot. Okay. You know what we can do next time? I just withdraw some money and we're gonna do um, like a shopping uh, experience. I see where we are. So up there we just go left and we'll be at the precinct. Uh, can we go like this? Like literally in the middle of the street. Okay, you can see the Epsa Tower down there. I'll take you there. Don't worry. Sure, this is crazy. Eh? Yo. So tell us about it. How is it like living in Hillbrow? <laughs> tell us. It's nice. It's nice. Why is nice? <laughs> you call it home. Uh, <laughs> you live here. Tell us about it. <laughs> tell us, just tell us, like, come on, just 30 seconds. I don't want to talk. Okay, don't worry, I understand. Cool, so this is my building, I'm on the 11th floor. Okay. I've got a really, really cool view um, at night, especially, it's really nice. Uh, and yeah, I just come out here, I've got a bicycle, so I don't really have to go like too deep into like Hillbrow side. Okay. It's quite a main road, so yeah, it's pretty safe. So you feel pretty safe, basically. That's the yeah. testimony for someone who actually lives here. Yo guys, we are top of one of the buildings right here in Ikaya. The thing is on because it's load shedding at the moment. You guys can see more or less where we are. Yo bro, you're just chilling there like it's nothing, eh? Like we just like a, a, a drop from here. Okay guys, we're done for now. We hope you guys like this amazing tour about Hillbrow. We're gonna do many more videos actually, just making sure that we are doing some, um, speaking with the right people and all that, but we're gonna speak about Hillbrow properly and make sure that you guys get the right information. Again, my name is David and I will see you in the next Living SATV video.